Okay, so yesterday we touched on how to get my G-Bros adapter to play wireless Atari 2600 games with the I mean, use a wireless controller and play the games wirelessly. So I got another adapter in the mail today. Ah, not this. That's my receiver. Yeah, here, May Flash to GameCube adapter works awesome. And all you do is just like yesterday. Instead of G-Bros, you plug the seagull into the back of the thing. I don't know why you need a seagull to get power. This retro bit Genesis receiver doesn't work without um, the seagull. It doesn't power if you plug it directly in. All right, let's turn off the Space Invaders. And then you make sure you have fresh batteries. And then you... So, it's a little bit, I lost the power connection, so, I mean, not power, the good RF cable, so this is as clean as I'm going to get it. So you, oh, it automatically synced. Huh, normally it doesn't. Oh, it, it automatically, wait, let's show that again. Normally you have to hold down this for two seconds, and these two, or the red in the back, for a couple of seconds. You have to hold on that red button in the back. But now when I turn it on, it blinks. Hmm, it was just sinking earlier. That's weird. Off. Hmm. Okay, turn our back on. Sink her up. Press both of these, sink it up, and it sinks. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And there, it automatically sinks. So I don't know why <laughs> before it wasn't, but it automatically sinks. Maybe if you, I don't know, if you leave it off too long, then. But once it's synced, then it, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't. There, the point is it's synced. So now that it's synced, you plug a Mayflash adapter, that other blue box I showed you, into the back of the Wii remote, lock it in place. And then you buy this RalphNet adapter. Converts Sega Genesis, um, and Atari into GameCube. They make one for Wiimote too. I thought I was buying that with the Wiimote connection. Like in the back of the Wiimote. Like the... Like this type of connection. Except, you know, instead of a Genesis, this type of... This type of connection. It's this instead of this. And they do have it listed. I don't know. Why, but know, let me plug this back in. <clears> hmm, <throat> <clears throat> getting a little stiff. <clears throat> there we go. Just takes a little. All right, there we go. That's it now. It's a little stiff sometimes. I don't know why. Hopefully it doesn't break on me. Well, I got my G-Bros just in case it does. Um, anyway, so once this is all synced together, your Atari's on. Yeah, it's moving. Moving left and right. Let's see if we can, yeah. This, hold this in between my legs so I can show you exactly. Here we go. See?
See, it's firing. Yeah, it's working. See, I'm pressing the button on the screen. And it's definitely firing. Yeah, see, I'm killing the invaders. Oh, let me show you again. Hold on. Yeah, see, I'm killing the invaders. Let's scroll a little bit to the right. Yeah, see, I'm killing Mr. Killing all the invaders. Wow, it's working. So that's all, it, all there is. Both options work. My G-Bros that I showed you in the other video, and this one works too. A little expensive, but it's not bad. Just get a Seagull, plug in a Retrobit Genesis receiver, pair it up with the Wiimote, and then plug in the this thing. Nice thing is I can plug in any controller. I can take that out and I can plug in my CX40 so I'm not limited to just one unit. Set. Oh, hold on. Yeah, see, I gotta repair the remote. So I gotta put this in pairing mode by pressing the blue button and these. So, yeah, if it's off too long, then anyway, it works. No, let's try it. <clears throat> One second, let me just straighten out the cable. <clears throat> Trying to do this with one hand without setting up the tripod like I did yesterday. Let me just. Uh... All right, there we go. There we go. Now you can see. All right, I guess it has to be going on. It's not connecting anymore. Hold on. Reset. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong direction. So. All right. All right. So yeah, there we go. So I just have to get the right direction. Just so it's easier to show you on the video. And. Yeah, see he's going and then going back. Yeah. And also the fire button. Reset that one more time. And yeah, he's killing. See, he's killing the invaders. Yeah, it's working. So when I'm pressing the button, it's working. So there you go. Pretty cool. Yeah. So not bad. Thanks for watching.